So one of the things that we're going to have to be super careful of when we go through and uh, do these problems in this unit is we're going to have to be changing units um, in the problems. Not all of them, but some of them. So we're going to have to be very careful with the units. One of the things that I will tell you is whenever you're doing anything with units, area and volume is the main thing in here in this class in geometry is uh, before you start the problem, look at the units and see what's going on. Are there one units mentioned throughout the whole problem or are there some feet here and some inches here? You know, what's happening? And then if there's some sort of unit change that has to happen, let's make a note of it. I right, put a big star and change units or something. Uh, the big thing that I will tell you is we don't, we want to never convert the units of an area or a volume, only dimensions, okay? Because converting the units of area or volume is, is not as straightforward as converting the units of dimensions. So if we're working on a problem and we look at something, we wanna make sure that we uh, only change dimensions. Sometimes, a lot of times it'll be at the beginning, um, which number two says here, all right? So a lot of times it'll be at the beginning. The most common scenario is gonna be changing the units at the beginning of the problem to whatever units of volume will be in, all right? But then if you're finding a dimension, all right, which we'll do later in the unit, sometimes you are going to have to um, change the units at the end. All right, because you want to change the dimension units. All right, so be on the lookout for that. The main thing on the regions exam that we're going to have to do is convert um, feet and inches back and forth. Okay, that's 90% of the, probably 99% of the unit changes in the regions exam are the ones that you'll see will be feet to inches. Okay, you do not get that conversion. So you have to have that one memorized. So hopefully that you all know that one foot is 12 inches. Okay. Um, this one yard to three feet, it's not on the formula sheet. We should know that. It's not incredibly common, um, but I would make sure that I know those two things because they're not on the formula sheet. 